Okay, guys, if you watched my last video where I'm just hanging out in the den on the couch talking about this project, this is the Mission Possible. I know they're going to change the name. I don't know exactly what they're changing it to. But it's still our Mission Impossible 318. Somehow, when Uncle Tony laid out this project and he had the engine right in front of him, I remember seeing that video, but somehow my little brain did not comprehend this is the manifold he wanted to run. Okay, somehow or other, I talked about the dual plane and someone was nice enough to donate the dual plane. Somebody was nice enough to donate the single plane. Somebody was nice enough to donate the throttle body injection. I thank all you guys. Somebody donated the BBD that I did a little work to. This BBD does not flow what Andy's BBD does. So, according to the original intent that Uncle Tony was talking about, got to use a BBD. No problem. Got to use this intake manifold. Hell, this intake manifold is way better than the uh, horrible truck two plane challenge accepted <laughs> okay cylinder heads i did up and you know what i even did i went through and i picked one of my one of my lowest flowing ports and somebody's going to say oh charlie you did a crummy job that port flows so much less than the last one okay we've gone over this before i'm just going to make a short statement about it if you're pushing the casting relatively thin now i don't like to go under a hundred thousands anywhere okay and between the valves i like more like 125 thousands because the heat builds up there so these are relatively thick still but the core shift was horrendous so every bowl is offset from the other bowl which means it's going to give us a little bit different flows some of them are going to flow better at the low some of them are going to flow better at the high guess what big scheme of things not going to make much of a difference Okay, if the port flows a little bit better low and not quite as good in the high, it kind of evens out. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be extremely close. I will, I will bet, and I don't have any money to bet with, but if I did, I would bet this thing is going to purr like a kitten. We're also going to take a look at the numbers, just this, just this intake port, and then we're going to look at this intake manifold with the BBD on it. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay, guys, two different ports on the same, same head, right? Now, what can we say about it? You guys have seen this. This is port number eight. We did a lot of testing on eight, okay? This is what we got out of it. It was still a touch lower than number one. Number one was 230.1, I think. Okay, fairly consistent through the whole range. This one has got a little bit different shape. Take a look at what happens. It's better in the low lift, not quite as good at the high lift. Now, if we look at 600, yeah, we're down, we're down on eight and change CFM, okay? If we look at 0.15, we're up five. Okay, does that even out? I'm gonna say it's not gonna make that big a difference. You guys think differently, put it in the comments, we'll talk about it. It does have a slightly different swirl curve, one versus the other. Let me put some pluses and minuses in. Let's look at it. Okay, take a look at our swirl. It's all down except for one. We have one plus. We're only off by one number here, okay? But overall, the curve is a little bit slower. So what that's telling me is our intake bowl is offset a little bit more towards the center of the cylinder. Okay, we're getting more flow on that side, which knocks down your swirl a little bit. Is that going to hurt us? I don't think. I don't think so. I think it's going to work just fine. Now, let's take these numbers, right? You know what we need to look at? The exact intent the way I understand it now is we have to do our first test with a bone stock new cam. 
which is only like 390 lift, 208.5 CFM. Calculate 208.5 CFM and find out how many horsepower we're good for at that lift. Then we're going to take a look at this head through the intake and the BBD. Okay, you can hear Baxter having a fit inside. It's all right. Okay, single plane number four finished with BBD. That's my scribble. No bother in putting pluses and minuses. They're all minuses. But, take a look at them all. Yeah, by the time we get to 400, we lose quite a bit. Okay? No, you can really see the the manifold is, is and the carb is really starting to hold us back. Now remember, this carb is not going to flow the one that Andy is going to make up for us. So, our worst case scenario, at 400 lift with a stock cam, my crappy BBD, my worked up single plane is 162.3. Let's do a quickie guesstimation on that. We'll use a uh, Wallace Racing Calculator. Okay guys, sorry to do this with the glare from the lights, right? 28 inches, 162.3 right which is at 400 lift I put it in as a 323 cubic inch which is a 30 over 318 I don't know exactly what it's gonna bore out to typical street strip engine is this a typical street strip engine I think we should probably do show it like this and then bring it up to maybe a, a typical race engine I don't know if it's considered a typical race engine or a super stock because I don't really think it it's super stock. Okay. So it says it'll flow 308 with an RPM range of 3738 to 5238. Not quite where we need it, but it is a stock cam. Now, do I think we'll blow that completely out of the water with a real cam? No doubt. Okay, let's do the same thing and just change it to a typical race engine. All right, all the info is the same. It says we'll get 334 and our RPM range really didn't change. Okay, that, that beats our challenge. Okay, what was the point of this? Well... I mean, part of the reason this whole project ran off the rails was my input. Sorry about that. I guess I could apologize to Uncle Tony, but I think he's a big boy. He doesn't need an apology from me. I never met him. Chances are he's an Italian New York hot rodder. Probably get along famously with him. <laughs> uh, just FYI, I'm sure. And I understand where he's coming from. Well... When I went back and I took a look at all the original videos, I think this number right here satisfies all the requirements that Uncle Tony was talking about. Now, it may not be to the letter he wanted it to. I mean, these are different exhaust manifolds. Those are the EGR exhaust manifolds. I, I understand that. Um, was not able to get the older style exhaust manifold. Sorry. Would the other, would the older style flow as well as these? Probably not. I'm gonna say these aren't bad. If you take a look at my last video where they stomped on the headers, I, even I couldn't believe it. But that's uh, that's the way it worked out. So the only thing that would really be different than was originally laid out. His Uncle Tony said we could offset grind to crank for extra cubes. I don't think we should. I have uh, I have a friend that I did the New Zealand Magnum Magnum EQ heads. He's got a forged crank. I got to give him a call. Maybe I can hit that on the way up to DVs and grab that. What else? Okay. 
Now they were talking about seriously grinding the cylinder head and making it more of a quench type. I think we need to leave it open chamber. Now they were also talking about using a little bit longer rod to move the piston up into the chamber a little bit more. I actually like that idea. And as far as not using the original crank and rods, let me say something about the original crank and rods out of that engine. I have no doubt, completely stock, completely stock, they would spin 8,000 RPM and be completely reliable. Why do I say that? My buddy Tony, Tony Persico, Charlie, stop wasting your time grinding those rods. Stock Chevy 350 rod is good for 8,800 RPM and hundreds of passes. He would know. Old Reliable was literally a junkyard engine. And when it would blow up, he would grab another rod and piston out of a five-gallon bucket of pistons, put it back in the engine, and make some more runs. You gotta love it, right? He wasn't even using forged pistons. He was using cast crap. So, the very the very uh, basis of... of Broke guy <laughs> horsepower, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, guys. I am the only thing I'm going to do with these now. I think I need to run my final, get all my information to do a final IOP on these. I don't think I'm going to do an IOP on the nine degree. I think we'll do that at DVs. Everything needs to be washed, everything needs to be packed. It's Saturday morning. Carla will get here Sunday night. Monday morning, we'll pack and hit the road. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know how you feel about this, the way I tested it, and uh, we'll talk about it in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.